एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम अनमोल भाटिया एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टीन in this video we'll be learning the concept of conversion of isometric view into the orthographic view with the help of an example in the previous part what we have learned we have learned about the concept of orthographic projections and how to convert the isometric projection into the orthographic projection situation If you want to understand the concepts deeply, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. Uh, the link of the book is there in the description box below. So let us start with the video. So this is lecture number fifteen, in which uh, we'll we'll talk about the conversion of isometric view into the orthographic view situation. Here we'll be considering an example. Uh, from the book and we'll be converting that isometric view into the orthographic view so this is an example of a 3d object which is complex in nature and we want to utilize our knowledge that we have learned in the first part so that the different views can be obtained so i have told you that we generally make the front view top view and the side view in order to represent the object and in india we majorly follow a uh, first angle projection so in first angle projection we have the front view above xy line and just below the front view we have the top view and on the right hand side we have the left side view and on the left side we have the right side view so this is a general notation that we follow for the first angle projections so let us start the concept here you can see that you have a complex object which is of the size 60 and this size is 60 that means if i look at the object from the front i may get this part as my front view because the other part would remain hidden right so i would get this part as the front view and the remaining part would be hidden and when i look at the object from the top i would get these steps Now these steps are being shown to me, and then uh, as per the concept, we have the steps in the horizontal fashion, and then we rotate the uh, same in the uh, opposite or the clockwise direction, and then ninety degree clockwise direction. Then then this part becomes the vertical one. So these horizontal parts becomes the vertical one, and similar for the right side aspect of the same. So let us start with the. front view of this uh, object so in this as you can see that we have a line so here also we'll create a line so here we'll be making a line there and from this line we'll consider the height so this height as you can see is 20 so this shall also be 20 now from there you have this distance if this is 60 and there are three different steps so that would be equally divided that means this is 20 20 and 20 so we'll have this distance as 20 again then you can see that this height is there so you can consider the height of uh, the same then this height is projected again as 20 this length is also 20 and this part is again 20 and we close the figure and outside part or the outside box is also visible so this outside box is also projected so this keeps or this uh, forms the front view of the object that we already have now in order to draw the top view what do you have you need to project all the points downwards because we know that front view is exactly uh, above the top view that means if we make the front view then exactly below the front view we need to have the top view now look at the object from the top when you look at the object from the top what do you get you will get this part as 20 and this part as 30 so you'll get these two parts which are 20 and 30 so on the piece of paper you'll get 
two horizontal lines one is 20 another is 30 now you need to rotate this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise as per the general procedure so this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degree clockwise that means these two lines will become vertical so i'll have these two lines here one is 20 another is 30 so i have these two vertical lines then after that what to do i have these lines which are visible to me so these lines are visible to me that means this this one would become a closed section then after that uh, what do you have you have these lines which are there right so in order to indicate these lines these three lines are indicated here by these lines so one two and three these three lines are indicated and again this one is the full length line which is being shown the gap was 20 that means this height was 20 so this height has to be shown in the horizontal manner because we have rotated the overall figure in uh, a direction which is 90 degree clockwise so when this one is rotated this would become horizontal so th these two parts would become the horizontal situation so this creates the top view of this object and uh, ultimately the dimensions are also indicated here but what about the front view uh, why haven't we indicated the dimensions here we can indicate the dimensions in the front view but we are also left with the side view so once we make the side view so we'll indicate the dimensions uh, in a one go Right. We uh, cannot do like this that we indicate the similar dimensions on the front view and also indicate the same dimensions on the side view. That would, in, uh, that would indicate uh, the lesser concept clarity and multi uh, usage of the dimensionals. Right. So we cannot do that. So firstly we will create the side view and then we will proceed for writing the dimensions. Now look at the side view or look at the object from this side. If we are looking at the object from this side on the on this part, so the left hand side view appears on the right of the same. So here as you can see that this box is appearing. So you can see that this box is being made in the similar fashion which is the length which is 20 and the remaining is 30 and additionally these gaps are also being shown in the side view so these gaps are indicated by these lines now in order to indicate the dimensions what do we have we have to indicate the dimensions in the simple manner like indicate these dimensions in one go that itself indicates that the dimensions are similar for the front view also Let's say if this dimension is indicated as 20 in the left hand side view, so this indicates because these projectors are moving ahead, so this indicates that this gap is also 20. Right? And it is very bad if you indicate the same dimensions here and you indicate the same dimensions there. So it will not look good and it will not look professional. So we just avoid marking the dimensions again and again if it is possible mark the dimensions at a one go aspect uh, talking about this part of uh, the conversion this this particular object was a complex object and in that the main crux lies in formation of the top view you need to uh, understand that whenever you watch the object from the top and as per the concept you need to rotate the object which was there on the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so here the horizontal part would appear vertical and the vertical part would appear horizontal in the top view situation rather this front view is simple to make for making the front view just keep in mind that this x y plane is to be considered for making the top view keep in mind that this xz plane is to be considered and the remaining plane for the side view the notation that we have seen in the first part of the video has been implemented here the notation was the front view above top view below and the left side view is appearing on the right and the right side view is appearing on the left so we come to the end of the second part of the video 
which is conversion of the isometric view into the orthographic views. If you want to learn the concepts in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.